What's up guys? In this video I'll be showing you how to connect your Bluetooth enabled device to the MMI system of this Q5 as well as play audio through the Bluetooth streaming feature. So let's get started. So go ahead and turn the engine on. So the device I'll be using is a uh, iPhone 5. A lot of people have that device. So go down here, click on telephone, and you go up to the screen. It says search for new cell phone. So then you go onto the iPhone and you go ahead and turn Bluetooth on. Now up here, you just use the control knob down here, click it, search for new phone. Continue. Give it a couple seconds and your phone will show up, hopefully. And there it is. So you go ahead and click that. Hands free, click that. It says the Bluetooth connection is being established. So you go down to the phone. As you can see, it says pair on the screen, so you click that. And up here, you click yes. Connection is being established. Okay. So that worked. Now, what you do is you go into telephone mode, which you are already, and then go over here to settings. Go down to Bluetooth settings. Make sure the Bluetooth audio player is on. When it's off, Bluetooth streaming will not work, and a lot of people get confused by this. Make sure that's on, and turn MMI system visibility to automatic. So now that that's working, you can go over to your iPhone and bring up the music player. So this is playing currently on my iPhone. And you can see here, it says Audi MMI. So let's go ahead, leave that alone. Go over to media. Make sure the source says Bluetooth. It's not, you know, faded away, it's highlighted up. You click on that, and then there it goes, playing straight from the iPhone wirelessly. Now you do have some control over this. As you can see, click on function, and you have all the basic controls, you know, pause, and then next track, fast forward, rewind, and such. You can also use the knob here to control the volume, as well as tap it to the right or left to change tracks. Now on the steering wheel, if you scroll this knob right here, the song information pops up in the display, but you really can't do anything besides look at it, what song you're listening to. Now to use the voice control, you have some basic control over Bluetooth streaming. Click the voice button. Next track. Next track. So you can change between, you know, tracks, go forth and behind. But that's basically it for Bluetooth streaming. Still, it's a pretty cool feature and very convenient when you're driving. I hope this is helpful to anyone who's been trying to do this and um, thank you for watching.